as the winners of the recent years have shown, there doesn't seem to be a perfect formula to win the Eurovision Song Contest. Some create a very intimate performance. Some make good use of pyrotechnics, while others use props to help get their message across. Using props can help you set up your perfect Eurovision act. Over the years, we have seen many props, from old women baking bread to a man in a hamster wheel, to a burning fake piano and a Russian man on skates. The first ever prop was used in 1957. At the second edition of the Eurovision Song Contest, Mago Hilsha took a telephone with her on stage for her song Telefon Telefon. Telefon. A year later, Margot Hilscher returned to the contest, this time with vinyl records. Since then, more props were used on the Eurovision stage. It's right that twinkling in your eyes Back in 1996, when backing tracks were not fully allowed yet, acts needed to have a representation of the recorded instruments on stage. With an electrical song like Ooh Ah Just A Little Bit, which was the song for the United Kingdom, that was done by adding two computers to the staging. Ukraine has shown a particular interest in using props in the past years. Other memorable props in the recent editions of the contest include Which props did you remember? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.